One of the legends that I heard about the Big Dipper was the Cheyenne one, and it was about a girl who was really gifted in her regalia making and her, her beadwork. She had a dream about seven brothers, and so she created these items for them and told her parents and went to go look for them. She found them and lived with them and was, was happy with them. Next, the Buffalo Nation came and they wanted her to live with them because she was so gifted in her work. And her brother said no, and they kept refusing. And then they finally came again asking for her. And the youngest brother took a arrow that he had and shot it into a tree. And the tree grew and they jumped on the tree, climbed it to get away from the Buffalo Nation. And then finally they jumped off into the stars because they wanted to live together forever and thus became the Big Dipper. The Gunchawa Ambawashte of Miach Minikni Mia. So my given names are Pretty Eagle Woman and Cold Water Woman. And my English name is Teresa Smith. With my parents understanding the historical impacts that we endured from residential school and colonization, they try to best teach us by letting us visit mentors. And one of the mentors that I visited was a lady from Standing Rock, Marion Rawlinson, who lived in Arizona. And so she taught me the gift of making the star blanket. She had a sewing room and when you walked in on the left side, she had like four sewing machines and then she had her tables for cutting. And then on the right, she had all this bolts and bolts of material. And I was just in awe because she had all these things and it was just so, so beautiful. The next day our parents said pack up so we thought we're going to a new motel and gonna go somewhere else and visit and then they brought us back to her house and then they said okay you can get off and we were like what like what are we doing and here they they were letting us stay with her and she taught us about the star blanket and so that was really amazing because that was the way they they helped us to have that foundation for identity and, and learning skills and so we stayed with her and what she shared with us is the stars. We understand that, but each um, star, if you look at it, it's actually like a medicine wheel too in the four quadrants of a uh, lifespan of a human being. So the infant, youth, adult and elder. And within that star has all those little stars. And so those would all represent different things that we would achieve in our, our lifetime or our lifespan of that being a a youth and coming into a teenager and, and learning who we are. And so those all followed within that. And that's why we would have the star blanket. And when we're gifted with that, that's acknowledging that we're star people. Sometimes what they'll do when they're receiving the girls are becoming women, they may get a new dress. And so they'll be gifted with that new dress once they're done their ceremony and they'll help make that dress. And so that'll be like their new identity and their, their, if they get a new name, that'll come along with that and getting the new dress. And it's just a way of empowering them and giving that the identity and belonging. So when you look at the back of the dress on the lady's belt, you'll see different um, items on there. So one will be the knife case that they have to carry their knives. The next will be the awl. It's a long skinny piece and um, they have their awl in there to help mend things like the moccasins or dresses. And then they'll have a little square pouch, which is for the flint to start a fire. They'll have that in there. And then there's another long piece that um, helps to carry wood. So they would tie that up.
it performed an aspect. There was a reason why we had it in the way it was designed and how it served a purpose because we were always on the go, um, making things, fixing things, and we would have that on the outfit and it would just help us because we were we were resilient people, we were resourceful and always traveling. And so they had that on the dresses that were, it was something all the girls would have, all the ladies would have. It was part of their, their outfit. The dresses that I've made for Arizona and Canyon are really special. It was my way of connecting with them because they helped design it and help make it. And I think that's one of the important things we can do as parents or care caregivers to connect with our youth and give them that support and also let them help design and help be part of the creation and ask questions and then they learn why. And, and support that knowledge because we're it's transference of knowledge that goes into dance and that, that transfers into their spirit too. And so that creates resilience, so. I'm really glad that they get to do this and learn about it and that they'll carry it on and they'll share it too with others and share the story. individuals who all go to who have different gifts that they can give her if it's with cooking or with creating things or just their mannerism if they're a kind person a giving person a thoughtful person I, I know who those individuals are that I'll be um, going to them and asking doing the protocol and asking for them to help with my daughter to help lead her in her in her next journey